Hello, this is Robert Kelly. I teach behavioral statistics online, and what you're looking at is an ebook that I have designed for my online students to help them to learn the material. This one focuses on Chapter 5, Measures Essential Tendency. The characteristics of this ebook include text that students can read, an MP3 player that will actually read this material to students, for example, if a student has a visual uh, issue. Also, there are video tutorials that students can make use of. There are interactive learning activities, a test your understanding, and most importantly, this is a community ebook. That is, if more than one student is logged into this ebook at the same time, the list of their names will appear here, and students can choose to do a chat, a private chat, or voice over IP if they so wish. Let's uh, take a look at some of these features here. So, when looking at ebooks, one of the things I notice as a basic common functionality is the ability to highlight what's important. In addition, students would like to be able to leave a sticky note something that uh, they can come back to later and see. So mean is affected by outliers. Might be uh, one uh, type of sticky note that a student might leave. Sticky notes can be a text sticky note or they can be a voice comment. You do that by clicking on the speaker here. So click here to start recording. And let's say I want to talk about the median. So I would say the median is the middle value in a sorted data set. If there's two values in the middle, add them up and divide by two to get your median. I'm done. Now I have two sticky notes and I can move these sticky notes wherever I prefer. So I could put this sticky note over here at the front. When I want to see all the sticky notes made, I click on this sidebar comment. And it will go ahead and show me all the comments uh, that have been made. Now keep in mind this is a community ebook. So if I post a question here, another student could actually click on the reply and reply back. So students can communicate synchronously or asynchronously with one another. Well, let's say that while I think this is important of highlighted it, maybe another student doesn't think it's important and doesn't want to see my highlighting on it. That's okay. You can go over here to where it says filter drawings by user and if Tim doesn't want to see my highlighting, he can simply click on his account and then the highlighting will go away. When I come in, I'll click on my account and the highlighting will be back again. Included in the ebook are several video tutorials and they're on the page that they're relevant to. Students can go through the video tutorials and click on the one that they think will be most helpful or most interesting. Here's one that I enjoy. No time to waste. If you give it a try, then you might find that taste. So here's the meat. Let's get the number heavy. We need to add the up. So hold your pencil steady. Divide your total by the amount of value. The answer is the meat. In addition to the video resources, there is also learning activities that students can make use of. For example, this learning activity helps students work on calculating the mean, the median, and the range. After reading the directions, the students can watch a video tutorial of how to use it, or they can jump right in by clicking on Start Learning Activity. They go ahead and click on Open Link. Here's our learning activity that gives the directions, and when students are ready, they can click on the render to start. To begin, they click on Start Race. It then reveals the running times for each of the runners. The student is then asked to determine the mean, the median, and the range. After putting in their answers, they can check their answers. And then, to get additional practice, they can start another race. When students are ready, they can then go ahead and test their understanding to see how well they've learned the material. To do that, they scroll down to the test your understanding. This is a flash-based quiz. Students can read the question, see the reference material, type in their answer, and when they're all done, they can go ahead and click Submit. They'll get immediate feedback on whether they got the answer right or wrong. In addition, the instructor can come back in and for each student, pull up the results and see how the student did and what uh, difficulties they may be having. When a student misses a question, they can go over here to the student whiteboard and using these drawing tools, they can go ahead and ask uh, for assistance with the question. They could write out part of the question. The instructor could come in and use this whiteboard to help answer their questions. And not only does that one student benefit, but just like in a classroom, all the other students can benefit as well. When students are ready to move on to the next page, they go ahead and use the page navigation feature. They can jump to a particular page or use the left and right arrows to move between them. At the very end of the chapter is an application exercise where students can go ahead and read this question, see the data set, and give their best uh, response. The instructor can then check their work using the filter drawings if needed. Enjoy!